and don't forget to like and subscribe. Hello there. Okay, now, Kashmir Files. Whew. Okay, I, I, this is a very heavy movie to get through. It hits you like a truck. And I'm someone who, when it, it hard, tends to get very difficult, I tend to start analyzing it more as a, a motion picture, uh, focusing on the editing, the clips, the storytelling to see how, how it's all done. Okay, uh, amazing movie, amazing movie. The story is just so, it, it's, it's, it's so amazing that something like this could happen. And yet, everything is just unheard of. It's unheard of, it's unspoken about. It's just the way it starts abruptly. It's, uh, in 1990, Kashmir was basically, in one night, taken over. And even, even the victors of it didn't really talk about it, it seems, that it's become unheard of or unremembered because they follow the main character the main uh, the it's it's a fictional main character and uh, that kind of threw me in the beginning but honestly having a fictional story around a real story really does help for instance patriots day or uh, is it patriot day patriots day yeah that with mark Wahlberg, amazingly impactful because some of the shots are like where they have the but this isn't about that but yeah it, it can work so we follow this character named uh, Krishna, and he's basically an orphan who's in college uh, in Kashmir, I guess. And, Kashmir, and the college in Kashmir is talking about how their independence from India, they're, they're isolated, they're their, own, they're their own place. They're free of India. And he's there at this school, and he has uh, no parents, no uh, brother, no, it, all he has is his grandfather. And we start following his story. Apparently, his parents were killed in Kashmir. His brother was killed in Kashmir. His grandfather escaped with him, and he had no clue because his grandfather refused to accept, refused to tell his son what had happened. And they explain why at the very end as to why he had no clue as to what had happened. But we're basically supposed to, sorry about my voice, it's, it's still a little sick. We're basically supposed to see what happened. We, we are this character. We are the ones who are in ignorance of what has happened. So it makes sense as to why they did it this way. Because nobody really knows or has accepted what has happened in Kashmir. And the, the real sad thing is, is that it's still going on to this day like i remember a few months back there were just there was a, a shooting in a school in kashmir the taking out anyone who wasn't of well muslim the killing all the teachers who didn't fit the mold and the fact that it's still going on for the past 30 something years since what well, the, the 32 years it has still been continuously fought and it is just devastating to watch this movie and see how it wasn't just that one day because they they, they escaped they left the after they killed the uh, that Kish, K, krishna's yeah krishna krishna's father they forced the mother to eat rice covered in the father's blood to leave and they left however there was a rehabilitation where they brought people back after the whole incident because it was just a one day event. And it, 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 the story continues and I, I would kept wondering as to what happened to his brother and mother. Why was it his grandfather that raised him? And it, it's the very end is what really is the most disgusting aspect about the whole thing because they really held off on that story beat because it's just how how are they going to show this and keep people seated and watching? It, it was anguishing to see what had happened to his, to his family. It was anguishing to see. And what, 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 uh, really, uh, what uh, really bothers me is I know that so much more would have gone on in that single day, in the fact that things have still been going on, 
there is so much more that could have been added to this movie. Even knowing with what's going on even now, there is so much more that could have been added to this film, which would have made it, honestly, even more unbelievable. Because it, it's hard for people to believe that certain things like this can happen. But the fact that the person, the man who orchestrated the, the, the complete... What, what, what is the where you're so... You're I, idolatry. Not idolatry, but you're so your mind is so focused on that. Uh, yeah, radicalist. Yeah, you're so radical about your belief that you are kill innocents. You'll kill anyone. The fact that because they had that character, and it, honestly, the character did a great job. Because the whole oh, creep me out. It, it was just the fact that he was able to get on the news, the fact that he was able to get interviewed, the fact that he was able to meet ministers, even in India, and have rapport with everyone, even after he had t killed and massacred so many people, and was openly talking about how he had killed innocent people, because, well, it didn't matter to him. It, it was it was just one of those things that it's just like, how they refused to accept what had happened in Kashmir, that they were willing to talk with the person that had killed and led to the... It's just... Yeah, I, I mean, it, it's it's mind-boggling for me to wrap my head around this whole thing because it's just so... This stuff is still going on. And this person was widely accepted. Widely accepted, widely interviewed because he... I guess, I guess he just knew how to... It, well, there's something about these vocal speakers like Hitler, like those who are able to sway people into believing their, it, it convince even children. Like there's one thing they kept showing, like when the when uh, Krishna's family, yeah, when Krishna's family went back to Kashmir, when they went into the schools, the first thought I had was Hitler's youth, because of the way they were teaching the students what they were saying, what they were forcing everyone to say. It was basically reminding me of Hitler's youth. You get the kids, you get the children, you indoctrinate people at a young age. That way, well, this hatred is just, it's, it's just, it's easier to get people at a young age. It's a very heavy movie. Very heavy. Yes, I did find some issues, but in the end, it is just, I can't even focus on the issues I had with the movie because it's such a heavy movie. And I, I just constantly get the scene of how his mother died. I mean, in the fact that they had the son watching, the fact that it's just like, I know that they would have done more to the mother far before they went to that. That would have been the last outcome after what they had done previously. They, it's just, there's so many things that I know would have happened. I know probably most likely did happen that just didn't get shown because it would have been far too impactful. I mean, I had, I had struggled trying to figure out what was going on because they kept chanting freedom. They kept chanting all this stuff. And it's just like, it was the terrorists that were chanting the freedom. They wanted freedom of Kashmir. They wanted freedom by taking out the people who had lived there for thousands of years and uh, it was because there was one thing that i had to ask about because it was propos uh, or remove uh, article 370 well that article is basically you can't buy land unless you're local to the area and in my mind i'm like well that makes sense well, why is that an issue? I mean, you don't want foreigners coming in and buying up your land. Well, apparently what had happened was after they had killed and eradicated and chased out all the locals, they had created fake papers because, well, when they chased everyone out at gunpoint, nobody could grab anything. That nobody had actual papers to prove that the land was theirs. That they created fake papers and conquered all the territory. That now all these people who had land there in Kashmir for family territory for hundreds of years, thousands of years probably, had lost it because they were chased out because fake papers were created and with Article 370 in place, 
they couldn't buy land once again. So, yeah, it's a very, very impactful movie, very strong, very, whew, very, very one of those that is just, uh, I'll, I'll really need to prepare myself to sit down and watch again, because I'm pretty sure there's a lot of little nuances I missed, missed with reading sub, uh, subtitles, missing a lot of the subtext and the visuals of what's going on. I really need to go through it two, three more times to catch all the nuances, but it's just, yeah, there's there's just a lot going on. With the way it starts, just with shooting of, the, yeah, the, 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 just a lot. It's just an absolute lot. Yeah, thank you all for watching. Talk to you next time. Toodles.